engine then. So it'll be bringing your knee up, going into the lunge, and then you're reaching over the opposite side. So you're like knee, knee, lunge, and reach. You're gonna give me eight per side. And as soon as you're done with the lunge and reach, oh, let me mute everybody again. That's alternating, right? Oh, uh, no, stay on the same side because there's a little bit of balance involved. And then after that, what I want is for you to do some lateral lunges. We're going to stretch. So I think it's easier if you're in a wide stance and you're going to lunge back, come to stand, lunge back, come to stand eight on each side. From the side, I'm pushing my butt back. I'm not leaning my knee forward. I'm pushing my butt back and trying to keep my chest upright as I shift to the left and the right. And I also want eight per side. Hi, B. did you have a question? No, I'm just watching until I have to hop on my next meeting. Okay. So I can at least like be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll send the link out. You know that. I know, yeah. I'm just here to like look for it. That's awesome. <laughs> and then after you guys finish the lateral lunges, it's going to seem weird. Let me go back to, but this is also a hip opener. So I'm going to be on one knee, my right foot, literally that you, I could draw a line from my knee to my foot and I'm against the wall and I'm just going to push the knee past the ankle. I want you to give me eight like this. So from the side, you can see I'm trying to keep it even as I slide forward. Hold on. I don't want to turn towards the knee. I want to pretend I'm up against the glass wall as I hinge that knee past the ankle. So it's a hip opener and it's also for ankle mobility. So eight per side. And after you guys finish that, I see everyone's come at different things. This is also another hip opener. This will look weird, so thank goodness we're in our own homes. You need something soft. So it's a very wide stance. My knees, my feet are not together, they're spread out. And I'm actually gonna push my butt back. So this is a very big hip opener. So you're gonna give me eight gentle pulses there. And after you guys, yep. Yeah, okay, good. Everyone's. <laughs> I'm twerking V. I'm twerking. <laughs> yeah. So don't feel rushed guys. Cause once we finish the warm up, everything is going to be nonstop. The way I'm going to, the setup is for today is you're doing supersets, which means you'll have two exercises that you on your own time alternate between. But for each of the supersets, I am giving you a, a limited amount of time. So you guys will have six minutes to, to do your superset. So some people might get three rounds of those two exercises. Some might get four. But you know, once we're done with the warm up, it's going to be like that for the rest of the class. All right, and then the last warm up I want you to do are the book openers. Uh, so you can do it off boards, right hand on the right ear, and I'm gonna come down towards my left, open up my elbow with my eyes following my elbow. I want you guys to give me eight slow book openers on both sides. Focus on, if this is a thoracic spine opener, you're working up upper back. And just really let your eyes follow your elbow when you open up. Once you give me eight of those, we're gonna go into the workout. Hi, Sri. Hi, Otelia. Hi, Rhea. I see Rhea. Hi, Miss Rhea. How you doing? Good. Good. Did you have school this morning? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> 
All right. So, <laughs> so let me go, as you guys are finished here, I'm gonna go over the format. You guys are gonna have the first two exercises. You're gonna have six minutes to do on your own time. These are the exercises. It's step ups and push ups. So I have a chair that's rather high. So for something as high as this, I probably wouldn't use weight. And what I want you to do is you're gonna stay on the same leg. Uh, I don't want you to lean into it to come up. I want you to think when I step here, I'm gonna to try to use my core, my body to pull myself up. You're gonna bring the foot back down. Stay on the same leg. So you're doing 10 on one leg and then 10 on the other leg. So with weights or without weights, depending on your step. And as soon as you finish your step ups, you're gonna do 10 push ups. So it's 10s and 10s. If push ups, so regular 10 push ups, this is excellent because if you don't have a floor push up, I want push ups from the step. If, step. if that's easy for you, both of those, you can do an elevated push up with your feet elevated. Sorry, I didn't have room there. Um, or you could do push ups from the floor with a narrow grip. But in your own time, don't start yet because you're gonna be doing a lot of sets. You guys will each have six minutes to cycle through in your own time those two exercises. So ideally, three rounds. Some of you will hit four rounds. Does that make sense? Let me unmute everybody. Any questions? Yeah, Tina, can I just a step with weights, a, uh, like a yeah. step hold? Yeah, you can absolutely use weights. I uh, So the chair I have, it's soft, so it can be a little unstable. So you can do with, ideally with weights, but don't feel like you have to do with weights. I have a step stool, it's not as high as a chair. Yeah, uh, you have a step stool, that's okay. So this is one way if you want to make it a little bit more complex. Let's say you don't have a high chair. You can step up, come down, and then go into a reverse lunge. So I think for anyone who's got a small step, add the reverse lunge in, and that'll give you a little bit more challenge. So let me just go through this. I'm gonna start the timer, and you guys are just gonna keep going. And then when that timer ends, you're resting, and I'm explaining your next two, all right? So your rest time is only when I'm explaining. So are you guys ready <laughs> to start? It's 10 of each? Oh, 10 of everything, yes. Yeah. So 10 on the right, 10 on the left, then do your push-ups, and rest if you need to, but you are, it's basically as many rounds as you guys are gonna do in six minutes. It's not meant to be a rush. Six minutes is a lot of time. You will get uh, three rounds in if you don't rush, because I create it so that you're not gonna be rushing, but some people might get more. All right? Okay, I'm gonna start the timer. And remember, it's step ups, maybe step ups with reverse lunge and push ups. And go. Exercise. <laughs> Doesn't have a good. Okay. So you're you're on your own time. So Alicia, I would stay on the same leg. So step up with the right, step down with the left. Uh-huh, and then step back up with the right. Oh, you're alternating, okay. This is almost like old school Jane Fonda. Yeah, that's good, Sri. Wait, you're saying if I'm stepping up with my left, don't step down with my left? Yeah, this is gonna be, oh, there's no wrong way. It's, uh, it's easier, like you step up with the right, come down with the left, so you're uh, only on the way down, you're not leading with that same leg. But uh, there's no wrong way. You can do it whatever way you want, whatever works for you. As long as you always lead with the same leg on the way up.
So you guys have plenty of time. You got about still four minutes. That's good, Anne Marie. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Anne Marie? Says something on my screen. Okay, no, no worries. Okay. Oh, that was what because uh, you were talking, and I think it was still muted. Okay. <laughs> it's looking good. I'll do anything to get out of this. <laughs> so, Miss Julie, I want both feet to come down. So when you come up to the step, when you come down, I want both. Yeah. So each time you gotta like get back up on the step. Yeah, so it's, even though it seems like extra, I want that extra. All right, Jen, you look good, looking good. Where'd you go, Mark? I don't see you. I think you're doing your put. Oh, you're doing your steps. Got it. All right. Got it. You guys still have two and a half minutes, so no rush. You're going to get plenty of rounds in. Hi, Miss Karen. I see you. Good, Sally. Those push ups are looking good. <laughs> Hi, Olivia. <laughs> She's looking for stuff. Hi, Olivia. I see you. Oh, I love your hat, Miss Unicorn. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't see totally, but Michelle, drop your butt a little bit in your push ups. Tighten it up. Oh, yeah, Amy, that's a high step for a little person. Good. So good to have Miss Elena back. I've missed you. <laughs> Thank God you got those little dumbbells from your friend. It would be too hard with a heavy kettlebell. Denise, are you doing your put? Oh, you're doing your steps. Gotcha. You guys have less than a minute. So uh, when the timer goes off, I am going to have you guys just rest as I explain the second part. So in all the sets, I purposely did like an upper and lower body or an upper, a lower body course. So there's, all, it's never just taxing one area. You guys have 30 seconds, so when the timer goes off, I want you to you to just finish up wherever exercise you're on to finish up the reps. You're doing great, Boomy. You guys have 10 seconds. Three, oh. two, one. Rest. Okay. So you guys can rest. Finish up your reps and you're resting. I, your rest is actually me explaining the second part. You guys are doing something. Oh, hold up. Me. Spotlight me again. The two exercises are Bulgarian split squats and bench plank rows. So I'll show you. So a uh, bench plank row will look like this. This is that row. I'm in a plank position. Can you see that my butt is not sticking up? So I'm in a plank position. The feet are going to be wide. This is almost like a tripod because I'm doing something with this arm. So with the weight, I'm actually rowing. 
So the weight shouldn't be heavy because this exercise is really about this position. You're gonna do 10. So 10 is the magic number today, 10 with one arm. And then I'm gonna switch over to 10 on the other arm. And it is okay if you don't have a heavy dumbbell because it's holding this position while you're moving your arm. That's the challenge. So you're doing 10 per arm. And the second exercise, I like to call them Bulgarian split squats, but they're also called reverse foot elevated split squats. One foot is behind you on the chair. You can hold weight or not hold weight. You're gonna come down to where your knee is almost near the floor, but the key is this is about 90 degrees, and you're doing 10 of these. With weight or without, all the way down, all the way. What I don't want is too close where my knee's gonna go way past. I want you to place yourself where, when I'm looking down, I can still see my toes. So I'm gonna do 10 and then switch over to 10 on this side. That's your superset. The rows in that tripod plank position and then the reverse foot elevated split squats. Does that make sense to everybody? Let me unmute everybody. Okay. What's that? 10 on each side of them. 10 on each side of them. Okay. That, absolutely. And again, you guys will have six minutes, ideally three rounds, uh, maybe four, but it's all on your own time. Thank you how much? What's that? Yeah. I'm saying your name in a bad way right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> All right, you guys ready? I'm gonna start the time. Oh, yep, what's up, Amy? Oh, hold on, let me unmute. hold with the, with the leg dips. Say that again? When the, the leg dips, how much yeah. weight? So why don't you use your two 20 pound dumbbells? Okay. Okay, so, uh, and same thing with Michelle G, the two 20 pound. Ideally, it's whatever heavier weight you have. If you've got 10s, if you've got 20s, uh, for Elena, you only have one kettlebell. You're gonna hold. You're gonna goblet squat. I mean, goblet hold. The kettlebell. So I want weight if you have it. I demoed it without weight, but I I want you to hold it with two hands or one like in the middle. Okay. Oh, hold on, Michelle. Oh. Is that Michelle? Is is twenty too much for the rows, or is that fine? I, I, actually, it'll be fine for you. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna mute everyone, and I'm starting the timer. In three, two, oh, hold on, where'd it go? One start. Exercise one. Oop. I forgot to change it to the bell. So you guys are doing these two exercises, alternating rest when you need. Ideally, three to four rounds. Umi, drop your butt. So the bench plank rows, what makes it hard is you're not gonna be sticking your butt out. I want you to tuck your pelvis under a little, so literally, if I was to move the camera, you would look like you're doing a one-arm plank. And Marie, that looks good. Grace, at some moment, I need you to go so I can see your profile. And, Cause I can't see if your butt's sticking up. And Julie, you too, let's see. Yep, Nicole, that's good. And Nicole, think of looking like a couple inches in front of your hand, yep. Hey, Tina. Yeah. It's Michelle C. Hi. Hi, because of my um, limited range of motion for my knees, yeah. I may not be able to do a dip. Is there another alternate that I can do? Uh, are you talking about the single leg one that's gonna be a problem? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. You know what, do, does split lunges hurt you? Mm, remind me of those again. Okay, I'll do that real quick. Okay. So tell me, because I know it's a lot of weight. What about if you're in this stance and you just go a little bit like this? I can do that. Okay, so you're going to do that. Ten, stay on one side, 10 on one leg, and then you'll switch to 10 on the other. Okay, thank you. So Jen, your step's not high, so I want you to actually aim so that your knee literally kisses the ground. Make sense? Oh, hold on, let me unmute you. Hi. Hi, I have some hamstring problems on my left side, so. Okay, gotcha. So then you just a little bit more gentle. For your range allows, gotcha. Okay. 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 
Yeah, and uh, Michelle C. What I want you to think about is widen the stance up. So instead of shifting your weight forward so your knees go forward, think of dropping your weight between your two feet, if that makes sense, so you're more upright. Yes, yes, there'll be less pressure. Tina? Yeah. Um, when I'm going down in the Bulgarian squats, um, it's really hurting like below my knee. Uh, let, me see, uh, let me see your Bulgarians without weight. If those are your PJs, they're adorable. <laughs> okay, so which, um, which, which are you, because right now your standing leg, you're too close. So your knee is crossing your foot, uh, which might be why. You want to try that again, but like with your, oh, you froze for a second. Uh, Alicia, I lost you. I'll wait till you, your picture comes back up. Hey, Denise, I think what will be easy, oh, okay. Denise, nope. what will be easier is using a higher countertop um, uh, so, so then widen your feet stance so that you're, you're balancing on both your feet. Uh, let me see if I can, uh, at least I'll help you in just a second. Oh, sorry. Me, I'm gonna spotlight me, Denise, so you can see me. Okay, so instead of a chair, maybe pick a higher thing like this, if I just can handle, and then wide feet, because then I'm just going to be going like this, because I want you to use, and, and this is what's helping you balance, but when it's too low, it might be hard. See if that works, if you can use a kitchen countertop. Yeah, because I think, feel like that's probably a good, yes. Yeah, that's much better. And then tuck your butt under. Yep, there you go. All right, Alicia, let me see. Uh, you know what, Alicia, move your foot back on the bench a little bit more, like an inch behind you. That? Yep. Okay, now, because your knee's still, is it your standing leg that hurt you? You guys still have a yeah. minute 10. Um, yeah, but it's mostly on my right side. When you're on your right foot. That bench may be a bit high for you then. Uh, it, yeah, it, you it might is. Be a little lower, because <laughs> uh, that's, when it's higher, it's a little bit more advanced. And if you have anything, then something a little bit, like even your trash can or, or like. Uh, like even, like, it's so much work on my butt to lift up, but whatever. <laughs> it is, this is work on your butt. Absolutely. It's a butt work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys continue your supersets. You guys have less than 30 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry, about 30 seconds. Oh, I forgot. I think I wrote in the note you guys needed a towel. Next one has, we need the towel. Three, oh. two, one. All right, rest. you guys are resting or finishing up whatever reps you were on before. And I'm gonna explain the next part. So in the next circuit, you're supersetting an upper and a core. Hold on, let me spotlight me again. All right, I think I wrote this in the book. You guys needed Sliders or towels for a smooth floor. You're doing knee tucks, so it's an ab exercise. Um, you're going to be in a high plank position, and you're pulling your knees towards your belly and pushing it back out. But your goal is to try not to come down or try not to come up. You're maintaining the plank position as you pull your knees and push them back out. You're doing, this is no longer 10, that one's 12. The second exercise you're supersetting, you'll have two options. You're either seesaw press, it, it means, I don't want alternating, that's not what I want. 
I want simultaneous. Hold on. Like this so you can see. What I want is when one is coming down, the other one's coming up. So it's all at the same time. If you don't have heavy enough weight, that one you're doing 10 of each. Or if you don't have anything that, uh, I know Mark's, it's a little cumbersome, you guys are gonna do headstand push-ups. That will look like this. You're gonna be in a down dog position and you're gonna bring your head between your hands. So you're aiming for 10. So that's the alternative to the seesaw press. Let me unmute everybody. Any questions? Okay. So it's an ab and arms. I'll With the arm, is it by our face or out? Hands out. For which one? For the overhead. Oh, so it'll be. Yeah. Think of holding two beers. So it's. Try Seesaw. It's seesawing with a neutral, a neutral hand position. And if you have, even if you have 10 pound weights, if you don't move fast, it actually is still a great exercise. Speed is what makes things easier. I can, I can do the abs on a TRX, right? Yes, you can do it on TRX and you're pulling your feet. You're basically doing knee tucks on a TRX. I'm going to, I'm going to start the timer. Not the first exercise. Wait, what's the first exercise again? I totally forgot it. Oh, so the, uh, oh, the knee tuck. So you need a towel. Oh, okay. It's like pulling your feet. Right. Hard. Okay. Yep. While in a high plank position. Okay. Got it. I remember. Okay. okay. All right. So everyone's getting three to four circuits in. I'm going to mute everyone. And the timer starts in three, two, one, go. Exercise one. So Miss Nicole, that looks great, but when you pull it towards you, uh, I don't want you to rest. You're going to pull it in and then push it right back out, but slowly. Yes, and then put, you got it. That's it. So let's see, Alicia, don't let your butt come up. You're staying in a high plank position. You're pulling in your knees toward your chest, but think of this, that your butt can't move. Um, and then for three, instead of the tucks, what I'm going to have you do is, um, hold on, I'm going to demo it for, because you're preggers. Hold on. I'm going to show you an alternative three and also I think, and uh, who else needs to see So instead for your abs, I'm going to have you on your forearms, Three, and you're just gonna bring your knees in and bring it back out. So you'll do 10 of those. And then each time your feet are not touching, they're always elevated. Yes, Michelle, that looks great. Both Michelles, I see Amy's. Boomy, you have a question. Is it is it like a it's like a push up where you're putting your head back up and down? Oh no, that's that was the alternative for the seesaw. So oh, okay. yeah. So what uh, are you going to be doing the? No, no, I did the seesaw already. Oh, then you're doing the tucks, the knee tucks. Do you have? Are you near a smooth floor? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> now I'm confused. Okay. Now now you're putting the towel on your feet and yeah. high plank. Right? Yeah. But don't rest. When you pull it in, push it right back out and slow it down. I want you to, your abs are keeping the control when you move it in and out slowly. That's it. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. it doesn't feel like that. It is not easy. You guys are doing great. You got. Still got three minutes and 20 seconds. What's up, TRX, And the TRX should be the mountain climbers or both knees? No, both knees. It'll basically be exactly the same, but uh, 
your feet are elevated on the TRX. So it's going to take control to pull it in and, and, control, and then bring it back out again. So Anne-Marie, when you push your legs back out, the pull in looks great. Push it back out where your knees straighten up. Mm -hmm. It's hard. That's right, Grace. Yep, you got it. Oh, I just noticed, Julie, you got your TRX too. That's it, Jen, that's correct. So that's great, Nicole, excellent. Where are you going, Rachel? Oh, you're taking, you're having some water. <laughs> I know Michelle, Michelle C, those are hard. So Michelle G, I know, I want you to slow it down a little and then, yep, yep. You guys still have about a minute 23. You okay, Denise? You're catching your breath. Boomy makes sense, everything. Okay. You got it, Otelia. I see you. It's only less than a minute. You guys have less than a minute in this. And after this is just one more. I think I went too fast. What do you mean? What number are you on? This would be my fourth round. That's okay. Some people will get four rounds in. It's like three or four, uh, but you have like 30 seconds anyways left in this round. Okay. And when the time is up, I'll go over our last little circuit. Three, oh. two, one, rest. All right, you guys are resting, but you're finishing up your reps. Let me pause this. The last superset, there are bench hip thrusters and dips. I'm going to demo that now. This is when you're gonna use your chair. Oh, hold on. Hi, Otelia. <laughs> All right, so. If you have a band, I want you to use your band. I actually prefer it with the band. If you do not have a band, it's okay. Uh, I'm not gonna waste time. So if you have a band, I want you to put the band on over above your knees. So pretend I have the band and I'm not gonna waste the time. If you have a weight, you are using your weights. So for the bench, hip thrusters, this edge of the step is gonna be right here, mid back. That's, that's the fulcrum upon which I rotate. I'm not using my elbows. So it'll look like this. The band is what intensifies this. So you're gonna hold your weight here. If you've got a kettlebell, you'll hold it here. Your feet won't be too close. You see how that's not gonna help me at all? It has to be far, far enough away, so it's 90. I'm gonna bring it down as if my butt is gonna press a button on the floor. My eyes stay forward, and then I'm gonna press it up until I'm completely flat. My hips can't go any further. And then bring it back down. If you rush through this, you're gonna get nothing out of it. You wanna hold for a couple seconds and then come down. If you don't have a weight and you have a band, the band is so key if you have it. If you don't, hold for a couple seconds, come on down, bring it back up. You are doing 
15, one five of those, and you're supersetting it with good old fashioned dips. So you can either keep your knees bent, the whole time your chest must be up. You're not sinking to your shoulders. So chest up, you can do dips, 10 dips that way. This is more advanced, having your legs out, but keep your butt, your back close to the bench. Don't be further out because it'll jack your shoulders. So that's the second exercise. 15 hip thrusters and 10 dips. Does that make sense? To, let me unmute everybody. Yeah. Everyone get it? The band yes. really oh, the band is right above your kneecap. <laughs> so if you have a band, and you will feel the burn. And then Sri, I think fine without weight. For you, just do how it feels like a wide stance, and you're just going to come down and come back up. I'll be told for at least one 1,000 at the top of the hip thruster. I'm going to start this time. Is everyone good to go? Cool. And you're starting. You're starting now. That's right, Alicia. So the first few reps won't feel like much, but when you guys, by the time you get to 10 through 15, your butt should be burning. Good, Sri. That's good. And Otelia, I know it seems counterintuitive, but you keep your eyes forward. Uh, they've just researched that it just, for some reason, this protects your back with your eyes always facing forward. So find a spot, you guys, when you're doing it ahead of you, like front wall, and just keep your eyes there. Boomy, that's excellent. And I want you to push harder. Reach for the ceiling with your hips. Yes, that's it. Yep. Oh, Denise, I think, you know what? Use your chair, push it against the wall. Uh, hold on, because it, uh, yeah, because it, it's uh, it's a bit unstable. Let me unmute you for a second. Um, so like even for me, I pushed it up against the closet. You want to make sure, because you're going to be pushing against it, your body, you want to make sure that the chair or whatever you're using is very stable. Oh, did you have a question? Oh, I think you have to unmute because I can't hear you, Miss Denise. No, I, I just said the chair's too hard for my back oh, right yeah. there. So. Yeah, do you, um, so ideally a towel or something because that edge will be very hard. So you, yeah, that's perfect, that's perfect. Yeah, and then push that chair against something so that it won't shift too much. That's good, Amy. So Michelle C, look, uh, instead of looking upwards, look like where the plants are. Yeah, keep your eyes at the plants, even when you're at full hip extension, just keep your eyes by the plants. Yes, that's excellent. Oh, so, oh, Sally, gotcha. Sally's on, you're on the dips. Awesome. You guys still have three minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, Miss Karen, look at the window instead of looking at the ceiling. Keep your eyes, yep, the whole time at the window. It, it, it like protects your back. And I want you to try to bring your butt down a little bit lower. So think of, yep, there you go. That's great, Jen. Oh, that's hard where you are. Is there a couch or something you can use, um, Julie? Is, is that high enough? Does that hurt on that stepper? Can you use um, a couch edge or something? Okay. 
Just wanted to check because it looks that looks low. Just keep your eyes low and forward, Julie. So Grace, don't use your, you're not using, um, you're not going to rest on your elbows. What I want you to do, <laughs> yep, it seems weird because it's probably a little painful. You got to hinge on your back because otherwise you're putting too much weight into your uh, shoulders and, uh, and elbows because what you want is you're hinging on your back so everything ends up being about, let's see. And put that across your hips instead of on your thighs. Yep. Okay. And I want the feet wider. So you're really the part, the point of the is like keep your knees outward as much as possible. You're really it's that's what makes it hard. You're fighting the pull of the band. You guys still have a little about a minute. You okay, Anne Marie? Okay. I know these are these are ideally done on a, a lifting bench, but we all have to make do. You doing okay, Nicole? Let's see. Let me see how you're doing. <laughs> Good. Just keep keep thinking chest up. All right. Oh, there's only 15 seconds left. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 10 seconds. And then after this, we'll go over our short little finisher. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Rest. All right. You guys finish up the reps of whatever you just started. I want the reps done. And I'm going to go over your finisher. Okay. So. The finisher is also a superset. Oop, let me cancel. Let me spotlight myself. All right. Can I head out? Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, oh, before we go, can we take a quick picture? <laughs> three. Okay, everybody look in there and smile because I'm going to explain the finisher, but first, before I will. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Five. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me show you guys the finisher. It's also a super set. There's two exercises. You guys are doing renegade rows. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're doing, you're doing 20, 10 per side, and that looks like this. You got your dumbbells, and you're alternating. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Looks like the finisher. You're going to count to 20, 10 per side. And as soon as you finish that, you're doing sit throws, which looks like this. So this is actually probably going to be a little bit more challenging because it's body weight. From here, when my knees are not touching the ground, I'm going to kick my leg through. And then I'm going to come back and kick the other one through until I hit 10 per side. Does that make sense? <laughs> It'll take me all afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I only have bottles, so I can't do that weight thing. What should I do? So this is what you're going to do shoulder taps. So oh, it, okay. you know, oh, yeah, that's right. That's it. Yep. That's so let's say you don't have that. Then what I want to do is high plank position. You're going to, yeah. but then you have to focus on not shifting that. So, so it's okay. 20 and 20, so 10 and 10 each side. And I'm going to give you an option. You can either do two rounds or three rounds. <laughs> Some people will be slower. So we're going to say, we're going to say three, two rounds for now, and I might make it three. But you guys are going to start when I say three, two, one. How many? Is everyone ready? How many? Uh, you're doing 20 so each, so 10 and 10, two times. Make sense? 20 total rows. 20 total renegade rows, 10 per arm, and then 20 sit throws. So that's one round. You guys are gonna do two rounds of that on your own time. You got to go? Okay. Michelle, yeah. 
Michelle G. Quote, so happy. Hey, Renegade Rose. <laughs> All right. Let's get in position. You guys are starting now. Once you do this, then you guys won't have to do it again. Not till some other time. All right. And go. <laughs> Oh, let me grab do you hold dumbbells in that plank or do you <laughs> say it again? How do I do I hold the dumbbells in the plank when I row? Yeah, you have the you have the kind that are octa yep, that's it. Yep. So you're basically chain uh yeah, shifting. So it requires core control. So it's like a it's like a, every moment you're in a one arm plank. And for Elena, you probably if you can, you, yep, you'll do the shoulder taps. Miss Karen, does that make sense? Like the, the sit throughs, it's like, uh, right. The opposite arm and leg lift up, if that makes sense. Um, I'll, sh I'll do it again in the, in the video so you guys can see. Oh, hold on. It's a challenge because it's, so I'll show from the front. So I'm on all fours. I'm gonna bring my right leg through and lift my left hand to make, it, to make way. So I'm always holding opposite arm and leg on the floor. Once you guys actually what we'll do is we'll do only two rounds and when you're done, we're gonna walk through a stretch. That was a great idea on Miss Amy's part, but always stretching. Yes, Otelia. I know, Boomy, it's confusing. So just think uh, when your right arm comes up, your left leg goes, yeah, 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 that's it essentially. But pivot more. So you almost try, uh huh. So you guys can do two or three rounds because I know some people are going through it fast like Amy. And then once you hit, it's up to you second, two or three rounds, then we'll do a stretch together. I'm just gonna unmute everyone to hear what y'all are doing. <laughs> wow. I know the little sit-throughs, those were a little bit more. Uh Me. Oh. All right, I'm unmuted. Okay. So we're going to finish through and then we'll, uh, I'm going to go through. I only did two. Oh, fine. Uh, this was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty cool workout. You guys essentially I just a lot of rounds. So this is how you're ready. When you're ready, you should lie on your back. So when you're done with your, I want you to lie on your back and then I'll let you ready. I'll walk us through a stretch. All right. Don't worry, everyone else who's still working, like Otelia and Jen, just keep working. Just keep working. I just thought you because I was curious. Oops. That's perfect. So you guys will just, Lie on your back when you're ready, when you're done, because then I'll know you're ready for me to go through the stretches. Okay. So I know Michelle's still working, Jennifer, okay. So, okay, good, everyone's almost done. So let's start off with this. You're lying on your back. I want you to pull your left knee into your chest. And let's, and with your right leg, really make sure it's extended and pressing into the ground. Your back is also fully in contact with the ground. Now I want you to straighten out your leg. 
so that your foot is reaching toward the ceiling, but make sure your knee is not bent. We're working on a hamstring stretch. So it might not be straight up in the sky, but as long as your knee is straight and you feel a stretch. And now I want you to bend your knee. You can see we're on your left, cross it over so that your leg is going on your right side, but your head is turned over to your left shoulder. Oh, I'm gonna unmute everybody. Excellent, I'm gonna have you gently unwind and we're gonna go on to the right side. You're gonna bring the right knee, pull it deeply into your chest. Now straighten out that leg so that you can get a hamstring stretch and pull to wherever, capacity, wherever your range is. And then bend your knee and cross it over to the left side and you're going to look oh, right shoulder. Okay, I'm gonna have you gently unwind and we're gonna do happy baby. So happy baby is your, your legs are up in the air, feet facing the ceiling. Your arms are on the inside of your thighs, but then your hands grab the outside of your feet. And then pull, your hands are holding the bottom of your feet and you're really trying to pull your knees in towards you with a very wide stance. It's like you're on a, you're in a squatty position. But really think of keeping your back flush to the ground. You really wanna to try to bring your hips to the ground, everything to the ground. Excellent. And now gently let go of that. And I'm gonna have you roll over to your stomach. And from here, you're gonna do either a sphinx or a neck dog. So sphinx would be on your forearms, lifting your chest upwards, pull your elbows toward your belly as you lift your chest up. If you have the mobility, you can go onto your hands, but don't force it because you don't want your, you're just gonna go within the range that you can because either way, it's still beneficial. Just don't sink into your shoulders. Lift your chest up. Look upwards, lift your chest up. Yep. Now I'm gonna have you gently push or move yourself into a child's pose, just so we can move out of that. And then I want you to actually get into all fours, so we're gonna go through some cat-cows. So you're gonna be on all fours, like this. Let's start with lifting your spine towards the ceiling. Round it as much as you can, look really cool. Your spine towards the ceiling. And then gently let your belly sink down and let your eyes look upwards. I want you to give me three of these where you're gonna go rounded back into arched back. Three of those. And after the third one, we're gonna work on a shoulder mobility. So from this position, I'm gonna take my right arm, I'm gonna thread it through until I'm actually lying. My butt is in the air, but I'm lying on my right shoulder. Now gently come out of that and we're going to do the other arm. I'm going to have you thread your left arm, really pull it through, and then rest your body onto that left shoulder. Excellent. And then I'm going to have you gently go back into child's pose. So make sure your knees are very wide. Reach your butt towards your heels. Let your arms go in front of you and walk the fingertips away from you so you should feel a lat stretch. Your arms are straight. 
you're gonna walk your hands as far away from you as possible without lifting your butt. You're gonna hang out here for a few seconds. Make sure your knees are super wide. It's a super, it's a nice relaxing position. Awesome. You can walk your hands back. We're gonna do one more before we get up. This one's hard, but that should go through your shoulders. I want you guys to get into the crab position. So your hands are actually facing outward. And then I want you to create a tabletop. Move away from your head. This is your last stretch before we get on up. So lift your hips as high as you can. Hold for a couple of seconds. And then you can gently let your butt come to the ground. And you guys are done. Woo! <laughs> nice job. So I'll see you guys next on uh, Wednesday. Will be it'll be that shorter thirty minute workout with a short check in. And it's ten, right? Ten a.m. What's that? Ten a.m. That one's at noon. It, it's oh, oh, it's oh, yeah. What was that? Wait. So Mondays and Wednesdays are are twelve. Yeah. And Saturday, is right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wednesdays is like um, it's going to always be an every minute on the minute, thirty minute workout, and then we'll do the check in. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, Tina. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Bye.